crafters it's Cynthia I am here with another paper piecing um, I am keeping with the Halloween theme that I've been using um, and this is a Miss Kate's cuttable file it's called witch shoes and there's actually four different styles of shoe to choose from I purchased two different uh, styles but this was the you know just the basic traditional looking uh, witch shoe and I really liked the striped sock stockings in particular so that's why I wanted to do this one so there's a left and a right I've already assembled one of them so that you could see what it looks like when it's done and then I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the other leg which faces this direction I'll assemble that together with you so I'm going to use my Tombow Mono aqua glue You'll see me use that a lot. Here is the second layer. Now, it's funny, um, I didn't have a lot of different orange cardstocks to choose from. So this is Orange Fizz cardstock from My Favorite Things. And um, it's a very uh, nice orange, very traditional. But using the My Favorite Things persimmon as my shadow, it was way too strong of a contrast you can see the difference there so it's meant to be this is meant to be a shadow of this so I went ahead and took my Copic sketch marker YR07 which is cadmium orange and um, I just colored over the top of the stocking which is the only piece that's actually going to be seen so that helped uh, create a much richer orange shade uh, that blends a little better with the persimmon. So let's go ahead and start gluing here. But yeah, it's nice with the alcohol markers because um, you can get a smoother coverage. It's not as streaky as a water-based marker would be. And then because they're transparent colors, you can layer it over a colored cardstock and you change the color of the cardstock but it still retains some of its original tone so am I doing this right yes oh my god just for a second there I thought I was gluing the wrong side which would totally be something I would do and I would have to start over Grab my video and start over. All right, so this just lays on top exactly. So I will really focus on the shoe here. And get it all settled. Hopefully I am in frame for you. There, all right. So there is that portion. Now the next, um, you can see there's uh, holes, uh, I mean polka dots really, in the green on, on the black. But the way the cut files layer, you do a green layer next, or whatever color you'd like your polka dots to be. They'd be just as cute in white, or any other color you'd like. It'd be fun to use a sparkle paper, too. I have some glitter papers. I don't know if I have a green like this. But. All right, so I'm going to lay the shoe right on top of the others. Fits in there perfect. These are all perfectly sized to layer on top of each other. Oh, and I should also mention that... Um, I really wanted a good size uh, piece here, so I went ahead and did the cut file at 300% this time. So the original cut file is quite a bit smaller, and um, you know, again, you can size this to whatever you would like. I've seen people do um, what do they call those art journals, and literally they just have one or two of the witch's legs as 
you know, running from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. And that would be super, super cute too, especially if you just used one of them um, and just make it that big. But I didn't want anything that huge today. All right, so the next layer is the fabulous stocking and black boot layer. And you'll see, I know it looks a little tore up or something, but when I layer them, you will see how they all work together. I can't wait to use these in a layout. That's going to look super, super cute. And I know my daughter uh, dressed up as a witch at least one year for Halloween. So I can use these images with those photographs. That'll be really cute. All right. And then just kind of tap a little at this glue in case there's some bigger splotches. All right, now this one you have to be a little more careful with. Because it's so lacy. But see all those little notches cut out then become polka dots. So that is super cute. Here's the nice striped stocking. Just work it up the leg. And see by tapping at that glue, I've helped it from uh, being too thick and squeezing out the edges. I do not like that look. Even if it dries clear, sometimes you can still tell that uh, there's something on your paper. Whoa! All right. There is that. And now the final bit is that little layered bow. And it's real easy. It's just two simple layers. There's a nice purple that's the complete bow. And then a little top piece which I actually cut out in a real pretty little Halloween pattern paper. It's just a little tiny purple on purple chevron. So I'm going to go ahead and use my tweezers, since this piece is pretty petite. Get some glue on the back side. And again, this one I'm going to want to tap that glue with my finger. Spread it around and tap down any blobs. Pick up my base and lay that down. These layer very easily, which is handy. Tap it down. There's your little bow. So cute. Now I'm gonna, I'll focus the glue here on the inner area. Bow, tap, tap. And I just want that kind of in the center. Hold that for a moment. And there you have your two lovely witch's shoes. Aren't they so cute? All right. Well, thank you again so much for joining me. I am having an awful lot of fun making these videos. I really hope that you're having fun watching them. Um, I'm going to continue with my Halloween series for a, a couple of days and um, my final video for the Halloween series is going to be a nice big haunted house. So uh, be sure to look for that coming up soon. Um, but anyway, you guys have a completely awesome day. If you like this video, please click like and I would love it if you decided to become a subscriber to my channel. So take care and I'll see y'all soon. Bye bye.